Hello everybody, welcome back to It's Current Year for another fan submission today. We've got Saltier Than You, a beastie boy of repute, up against Suave, who is playing the Norskins. We're on MP Crossroads, a nice flat map. So uh, Salty is a uh, hardcore beast, beastman enthusiast, a long-suffering beastman enthusiast, yeah, f f at that. Um, and today he's up against Suave, who is a pretty strong player, uh, player I've played a couple of times. Um, I think I came up against him in uh, Turin Swiss League, and he's a very strong opponent, a regular on the tournament scene as well. So we'll go through Suave's Norskin list first. He's got some Warhounds, as well as some Horsemen uh, on the flank here. Also some Ice Wolves, as well as some Skin Wolves, and it looks like some Ice Trolls in the rear here. The front line of Marauders with the Brutes of the Hound and another unit of Marauder Berserkers. So pretty typical, um, pretty pretty narrow, but you don't need a lot of infantry against the Beastmen. Berserkers will cut through most Beastmen infantry, probably all barring the uh, the Bestigors just because of their armor. So pretty cheap, pretty cheerful. Uh, marauders will trade well into basically everything, uh, or all uh, ungores. Um, reasonably, uh, they trade okay into, into regular gores. If they have a, a step or two of their enrage mechanic, they can uh, they can do just fine. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, two two units of the the ice trolls. We've got a s fire sorcerer here, just uh, on foot. He has taken burning head, fireball, as well as I think that is the scroll of shielding. Nice uh, pick there, nice and cheap. Gives uh, potentially Wolfric some damage resistance, and obviously we have Wolfric up here on the mammoth. He's taken Sea Fang, Hunter of Champions. Hasn't taken the sword of Torgvold. It's not a very commonly picked item when you do take Wolfric on. Uh, on the Mammoth because it buffs base weapon damage and most of his uh, weapon damage is armor piercing. So for Salty's Vanguard Force or Vanguard Forces here, a couple of units of Centigors, uh, one with throwing axes. Uh, I like the inclusion here of the Angor Spear in that sort of uh, forward deploy. It just gives them something extra to, to fall back against. Uh, these aren't the shielded variant, um, so they will take some damage, but if they soak up any ammunition from uh, counter skirmishing from the Norskins, that's kind of a win um, and allows them uh, the Centigors here, just another layer to, to pull back, potentially use uh, up an enemy charge bonus on Angors, which are pretty expendable. We've also got Kazrak, he's up here, looks like he's taken uh, just the armor, just the uh, the Dark Mail for his damage resistance in combat. He's up on the chariot, can uh, Vanguard deploy on his chariot, so we'll see how he goes. Sadly, his uh, Scourge weapon is, is pretty rubbish. Likewise on this side, some Centigors and uh, the uh, four deployed Ungors with some throwing axes. So there's going to be a, a bit of a skirmish phase here, I guess. And for the infantry corps, a unit of Ungor spears with shields, two units of gores with shields, uh, two units of bestigors. I kind of like the inclusion of bestigors. Just gives you a bit more um, resilience in your front line uh, through the armor and obviously can chip away damage at, at, um, at the big monsters and that kind of thing. Uh, their leadership isn't great. Um, they are being buffed at the moment, obviously, because they are quite healthy, but they can, uh, yeah, they, they just suffer. Elite infantry in general at the moment in the game, not necessarily the most effective, but we've got two units of Ungor Raiders. Love the inclusion of the Ungor Raiders against Norska. They actually do, just because of their large unit model count, uh, can put a lot of damage into uh, into things like mammoths and, uh, and the like and just give you some screening tools. Looks like we've got a Wild Shaman on a chariot here, Traitor Kin and Vile Tide, as well as the Jagged Dagger. So a nice inclusion there. Would like to see probably Bray Scream and the Vile Tide, but Traitor Kin is pretty Winds of Magic intensive. So uh, understandable that that's been left out at, uh, at this point. So the Skirmish phase is kind of underway. We're lapping up and around the flanks here. We're getting some cycle charging. Doesn't want to stay in this fight for too long here and take the charge from the Ice Trolls, but he's probably got his attention elsewhere as well at the moment, Salty. So uh, as I said, just eating some volleys here from the young gore. Um, on the Ungors from the Horsemen. Not a lot of skirmish cav. You usually see the obligatory, you know, four or five units. They are uh, they are obviously a very cost-effective skirmish cab, uh, but the Ungor, uh, the Centigors here are getting very aggressive. The Ungors have been uh, charged by the Ice Wolves, and now the Centigors with their charge bonus getting a nice pickup there on the Ice Wolves. They will probably rout, although the uh, 
Ungor's here will probably route very quickly to the uh, Trolls and the Marauders. The anti-large of their little spears there isn't going to count for too much. Uh, two units of Centigors charging in against a Skinwolf unit. Now, one-to-one, -one, this would be a reasonable engagement with the Skinwolf, but a rear charge going down and just their lack of sort of armor or anything of that nature is uh, can make them a little bit susceptible to units like that with a decent d DPS and a good charge bonus. So this flank's gone reasonably well for the beastman. It looks like that skin wolf unit may be chased off. Actually, it just shatters straight up. So that's a nice early pick for for uh, Salty there. Kazrak is maybe getting a little bit overextended here. Actually, very overextended. And this is a real... Uh, this isn't a good start for the, the beastman. He's giving up that early advantage there. The Dark Male obviously does give him some... Oh, 100 of Champions going down. I would say Kazrak is just flat out dead. The Dark Male damage resistance there won't save him. Probably going to be able to route this uh, unit of Ice Wolves through the Centigors. Might be worth actually just getting a rear charge there, but the Throwing Axes may be able to do it. Uh, screening out these Marauders nicely with one unit of Centigors. They do have a shield block chance, so that's quite nice. But a nice... I think this is going to be a Trader King going down. It does get some overcast damage, but it is affecting a number of units. And we'll see... Wolfric won't take too much damage from it, but I think the uh, the Skin Wolves will certainly take a, a decent hit, as well as the Ice Trolls. So some nice AoE damage there going down. This unit of Skin Wolves is also very, very low and has lost some unit models. Getting in uh, some shots from the Ungors now. Great target uh, priority there on the Brute of the Hound. Obviously very low armor, no shield block chance. They will uh, probably lose... Uh, oh, they might be able to tank out um, Desigors one to one, but with the overcar, uh, the Overwatch of the Ungors and the uh, Vile Tide going down there, they are on borrowed time. Great burning head from Suave though, going down through the Ungors. That's going to shatter probably, or it's going to definitely route off one. Oh, big follow up as well from the boat. So they might, uh, there may be enough burst damage just to shatter them. We'll, we'll keep tabs on them and see if they come back. But there's a very uh, this battle is just all over the place at the moment. It looks like they may be able to stabilize, but they have taken some unit model damage that do take their ammunition with them. This unit of skin walls is going to be probably chased off the map or as one of them left, so they'll just shatter. Kazrak is back. Um, he probably doesn't want to commit too much to combat now that he's taken this much damage, but the ice trolls as well have been have been routed. And Saltier, the new, is getting some really good engagements here, some really good clusters with the Volatides, a good trader kin before. The Ice Trolls here, having taken as much damage as they have, uh, really low leadership. They're low leadership base, but uh, because you know trolls. But uh, the Brutes of the Hound are pretty much on their last legs. 12 of them left. Uh, the Wolfric is reasonably healthy, but just probably at this point doesn't have a lot of infantry to fight on. The Throwing Axes, whether they are, should probably be... Uh, turn their attention to him. This unit of Ice Trolls has shattered. That's a big, uh, a big pain because you know with five unit models and a lot of healing to go, they could probably have still have been somewhat significant in the fight. Uh, these Ice Trolls, unfortunately, are going to take a charge. And you see, even just from regular Centigors there, the burst damage on the charge, enough to work them down reasonably well to the point where Kazrak can come in and probably rout them. Getting some uh, some out of control, some berserk in there from the Brutes of the Hound before they are finished off. And like I said before, just this armor, the, the armor here from the Bestie Gore is managing to just ward off as much damage as possible. 95 armor is pretty decent. Regular Marauder is obviously not great in terms of armor piercing. And a Sea Fang now is being used, I think, to finish them off to try and relieve this infantry. But they are holding quite nicely. And Karzrak now is going to get a nice charge right down the flank. This is basically A1 use of a chariot. Um, particularly when the unit models are in combat like this and they don't get any bracing bonus. Uh, right down the flank, hit as many unit models as you can. Apocalyptic Vision also going down to buff the uh, leadership and melee attack of the Beastman infantry here as the Ungors have managed to rally. The Throwing Axes are coming in. Weight of Fire now probably on Wolfric is going to be enough to see him off as there we take a bit of a sort of sweeping look at the battlefield. The Norsecan forces are in disarray. And I'm not sure what happened to the Fire Sorcerer, but it seems like the uh, Fire Sorcerer has also... Oh, the Fire Sorcerer is out here being harassed by some Centigors. The the Wild Shaman here is just seen off these Marauder Horsemen. Not that they would probably be... A little, well, they might be able to do some cycle charging on the Ungors if they were over here. But to be honest, uh, having the Wild Shaman away from from this engagement is, is just fine. Oh, I suppose Vile Tide wouldn't really do anything to Wolfric, but... 
It really comes down to whether or not Wolfric can get a bit of a chain route going with through Terra here. The Ungors are going to turn to face and start firing, and Wolfric with a huge HP pool. Doesn't look like he has a lot left, but he is still sitting at 3 HP. Some Terra actually is taking effect now, and Kazrak has running some errands over here, uh, chasing off these Marauders. And needs to be a little bit careful here because Wolfric is a bit of a terror, and obviously, surprise, surprise, Beastmen don't like terror causing single entities. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see you basically just keep uh, Wolfric on the move here. This is a good decision here, going after the Ungors, getting rid of anything that can damage him from range. Uh, so what's left for the Beastmen over here? We'll keep a little eye on the uh, fighting over here, but uh, some Marauder Horsemen, reasonably healthy. Um, probably could just actually charge into combat with these Centigore throwing axes and try and get them off. The Bray Shaman is returning to the fold over here. We've got some Berserkers being harassed by Centigores. Kazarak is making his way back, probably to make use of Apocalyptic Vision to try and buff the stats. Another nice Sea Fang swipes. Sea Fangs and uh, Wind Spells here have certainly been on point. But Wolfric now just pretty much at the point where army losses has taken him out of the game. That's going to be a win for the Beastmen. They do manage to see off uh, the last of Wolfric's uh, health here, and despite the fact that he is a big, scary, prehistoric beast, he will run from the field today. So impressive kills on Wolfric, certainly. 2,000 uh, damage value. Some nice uh, no, some nice sea fangs there, actually, and that... Seafang follow up to the burning head on the uh, both units of Ungors was uh, was definitely a nice little touch. Uh, but overall, I I like this Beastman list. I actually have played around a little bit in the past with Bestigors against Norska as well, just because in the infantry fight they can uh, they, they just hold up a little bit better against Marauder Berserkers. They'll wallop uh, regular Marauders. And it's not all that likely that you'll see Marauder Champions here, but you know if you do come up against Marauder Champions, obviously their armor piercing can be significant. Um, are susceptible to terror outs. Um, that is kind of their downside. So if you can get, if you can uh, use your Ungors and uh, Ungor Raiders and things like that to uh, harass uh, the Wolfric, um, Double Mammoth can be a bit of a pain in the ass. But uh, if you can get damage into Wolfric, uh, nice, nice and early. The best of gores can just thin out the infantry line, and then at the very least, Wolfric is fighting sort of unsupported, uh, which is, you know, um, basically with any single entity, you want to deny them the opportunity to fight it on top of infantry. So, um, yeah, two, two, two to three is kind of the the sweet spot. I've I've tried like a full front line with best of gores before, and had um, actually a surprisingly decent amount of success with it. But uh, yeah, just I, I like I like having them just mixed in here as uh, something extra that the 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 Norskans have to have to consider. Um, obviously, the Centigors Centigors in this match are, are are pretty good. They can chase um they can chase horsemen and with their perfect vigor in the late game they can actually catch them and they do have a shield block chance so they can ward off at least some of the missiles. Uh, but I liked the touch of having the forward deployed group of Ungor spearmen just as a little basically speed hump for the Centigors to work around. Um, the throwing axes. Both getting really nice value. Um, I think actually also one of them might have also chased off one of the ice trolls to the point where they shattered. Some nice early hits on the skin wolves is really big as well. Um, as I said, one to one skin wolves will do quite well against centigors. Uh, the burst damage on the centigors is is not insignificant, but obviously with regen, if they can win the fight and then retreat sort of back to their infantry line, uh, it's a good early game pickup to deny the beastman the mobility uh, advantage. Kazrak got a little bit, uh, a little bit too ballsy in the early game, um, but Salty uh, the new has done pretty well to keep him on the field uh, to avoid the Lord loss penalty and basically just to chase off routes and stuff as well to make sure again the infantry can't come back to support Wolfric. Some nice file tide uses and a, a nice, uh, uh, a nice trader kin in the early game. Uh, but as I said, I like this, uh, I like this beastman list. I think. Um, a lot of people sort of get carried away with uh, the lack of dedicated anti-large on the Beastman roster, but when you consider how good Ungor Raiders are at killing big things just through weight of fire and how cheap they are, um, they do have some options. Usually you might mix in a couple of spawn, or that's where sort of Morgur comes in handy as well with the spawn summon. Um, poison and just the mass of the spawn can pin a, a mammoth, and if you turn in, you know, two, three, four units of Ungor Raiders, you can actually chip away a lot of damage quite quickly from um, from Wolfric or from a, from a, from a um, 
from a, another mammoth that uh, is a common pick here. So yeah, nice battle. Thanks for uh, sending it in to Saltier Than You. Uh, a long-suffering beastman main, as I said, but he's nothing if not loyal to the Beastie Boys. Uh, and well played to Suave as well. As I said, very good player. Cool to see some ice trolls. Probably, um, uh, probably just got a little bit isolated. Didn't get great value just through that. Oh, this one's got decent value, but uh, probably did some damage to Kazrak, these ones. Um, yeah, tough to keep them online when you don't have a way to uh, to uh, to keep their leadership high. And I think um, they just got a little bit too separated from Wolfric on this occasion. But yeah, thanks to Salty for sending it in. Thanks to all you guys for checking it out. Until next time, take care.